So the main reason I'm making this video is because just last week I passed 500 subscribers and I'm already at 570. So first of all, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and everybody who watches my videos. I did want to give a shout out to Young and Boosted who was the actual 500th subscriber. So thank you, here, Lola Lucky number 500. For this 500 subscriber special, I figured I could at least show you guys some of the cool cars that Moore is working on right now, as well as give you a walk around of Aurora, my STI. Now, the STI does not have a motor in it and it is not running, but hopefully I should have it back by the end of the week. Now, I really hate giving you guys a timeline because things change all the time. So it may not be a week, it may be two weeks. I hope not, but don't hold me to that. Things can change. So with that being said, let's take a walk around of the STI. So I just wanted to point out a few things about the car. First of all, the paint is not in the best shape. As you can see, the clear coat is starting to break down on the original panels. Some other panels are in better shape because they have been repainted over the years. But as you can see, the hood has been repainted. However, the hood scoop has not. So that is definitely on my list is to repaint the car, hopefully in the next year or two. Also, the windows were tinted previously and I have owned the car for five years and they are starting to break down and bubble. I'm not really worried about it because I didn't pay for it to be tinted in the first place, but in the next year I will be retinting my windows. As you can see, the rear emblem is becoming delaminated and will need replaced. I will do a video on that. The side skirts are actually starting to push out and that is due to Subaru's jacking point. If you don't use their specialized jack, then it actually tweaks the metal a little bit and causes the side skirts to push out. Also, there is a trim piece that has broken off on the rear driver's side. I will replace it, but the actual piece is about $80. So when I have money, I'll get that done. There are also some scratches and dents and dings, which is pretty typical of a 10 year old car, but they're all very minor and not a big deal. A couple of the guys on the forums have asked me about my rear diffuser. So I will be making a video in the future on exactly how I made it. It is not very expensive, but it is tedious and it took me about 30 hours to complete. It is basically just half inch foam board that I covered in fiberglass and bed liner, but it's really not hard to do and was well worth it. So I'm definitely going to do the what's in your car tag from Evan Shanks. However, I'm not going to do that right now because since I'm not driving the car, I really don't have all the stuff that I would normally have in there. But I can show you what's not in my car. But we start with no engine. Hopefully it won't be this way for long. I should have the car back by the end of the week, maybe next week at the absolute latest. And once I do have it back, I promise I'll do an actual what's in your car tag. Catch you guys later.